Lee Spencer, Sierra 6, and NASCAR Radio and CatFrentz.com. Do you think that Shane Pink is Bergen will have as much of an advantage on you all if it's dry in Chicago land when we get there in two weeks? I, I don't think it'll be as much of an advantage, um, but there's no doubt that you know street courses seem to be his wheelhouse. There's no doubt he's good on road courses as well, like the typical road courses. He's great at those as well, but um, it, it did seem like a street course he felt way more at home when we all felt like a fish out of water um, going around that racetrack. And then he added rain and it was like, it just, it was perfect for him. <laughs> um, and, and he capitalized as he should. Uh, all of that, I mean, I think for 99% of the field, that was the first time for any of us to do anything like that. And we all have very limited experience of racing in the rain. Um, and we also had a lot to lose. We had nothing to lose, right? Like the, the, you look at those walls and you're like, oh. It's a lot of points in those walls, you know, and uh, you know, for him, who cared? Uh, so, you know, I think all those things weighed into it for sure. Um, I think this year, now that we all have a general idea of what we're going into, we can prepare for it, right? It's hard to prepare for something when you, you're blind and you don't know what it's going to be like. Um, I'm sure he's still going to have a lot more experience at this stuff than we do, but I think we'll close the gap a lot. I'm doing a story on, on Chicago and Shane Van Ginsburg. And on a dry track, do you expect him to kick everybody's tail like, like he did a year ago? What kind of race? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see. Um, I mean, obviously, he's really talented. I've been enjoying watching his kind of inaugural Xfinity season. He's a good guy. I've gotten to talk to him a good bit. And um, he loves the sport and really enjoys it. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think. Uh, I don't know if we'll have as much of an advantage this year because everyone everyone was kind of in the same boat last year as far as first time there, but he raced on a lot of street courses and the V8 stuff um, and the rain and all that craziness that went on. He, he probably had a little bit of a leg up on everybody and it showed and he took advantage of it and, and won the race. But um, hopefully we can all draw a little bit closer to him at that place uh, to where he doesn't embarrass us like he did last year. And uh, we'll see though.